Now that you boys and girls can hear me. Let's see our picture again. Look at that. Look at that angel. They even got a halo on him. Old Scott P24. Pid24. Let's get to this October 23rd. Oh, we went one past it. All right. The day of conflicting karma. All right. Those born on October 23rd are rarely able to achieve stability in all aspects of their lives, no matter how hard they try to balance their energies. There always seems to be one major area at any given time which will be out of kilter. Somehow controversy seems to follow them wherever they go. Truth to tell, they do bore easily and are often on the lookout for excitement. Ooh, well, they didn't come to this stream today, that's for sure. Therefore, what appears heavily stressful or difficult to others may actually be enjoyable to them. Though, it may have been Scott's uh, birthday, because he seemed to get out of here pretty quick. <laughs> I couldn't entertain him. He bored too easy. Oh, did you? I don't know, Scott. You probably just had things to do, man. To get some food in you and stuff. Uh, anyway. I joke, I joke. Most October 23rd people are not too big on planning. They have a talent for improvisation and therefore tend to deal with situations as they arise. Similarly, they are rather impulsive and when they see an opportunity, don't hesitate to go for it. When those born on this day have negative or critical feelings towards the way things around them are being handled, they are likely to express their opposing points of view bluntly because they dislike vagueness and ingratiating speech. Their words can sometimes offend others. Depending on their social circle, work environment, or culture may loo, it is possible that they will be pegged as rough or unsophisticated by more genteel types. October 23rd people have an undeniable talent for setting up groups or taking over the helm of already existing ones because of their charisma and well-developed sense of humor. They can be figures. They can be popular figures indeed. Yet they will have great difficulty in letting go of their posts when the time has come to call it quits. All right, what else? In, the ma in like manner, those born on this day are prone to possessiveness, jealousy, and claiming behavior in personal relationships. Yeah, yeah. The lessons of giving up power for its own sake and seeking the ideal of unconditional love should, as their lives progress, become more and more meaningful to them. Good to know. Good to know if you're in that quandary. Because those born in this day are magnetically attracted to adventure and challenge, often they take the role of hero or heroine coming to the rescue. They frequently find themselves in the thick of exciting situations. That's right. Even the calmest and most fearless of October 23rd people have to be aware of sudden instabilities, even disasters, while arise, which arise around them. Accidents of all types are commonplace to this day. So those October 23rd people who succeed are usually highly adapt at handling emergency situations. That's good to know. Reach out to your October 23 people if you got a situation. Because those born on this day live rather active and static lives with the propensity for change as well as instability. The opportunities for growth and improvement are great here. On a personal and spiritual level, October 23 people are capable of making enormous progress in this lifetime. If not, they may become sensationalists. Going from one stimulating experience to another, staying balanced, refusing to be diverted or sidetracked, and generally finding peace within themselves are their stepping stones. Now here's some people born on this day. Pele, the British soccer legend, often called the greatest player of all time. He led Brazil to three World Cup titles. Well, so uh, we got Gertrude Ederle. I'm wrong, saying that name wrong. U.S. triple gold medal wing swimmer. First woman to swim the English Channel. Broke men's record by two hours. <whistles> Michael Crichton, a novelist and drama strain, film director of Westworld. Johnny Carson, TV host, Tonight Show. Freda from Reichman. Psychotherapist, psychoanalyst, Frank Rizzo, Philadelphia Mayor, Police Chief, John Hines, U.S. Senator, Pennsylvania, died in a car plane crash, Pierre LaRusso, French lexiconographer, encyclopedia founder, Clarence W. Lil and High, 
He's a surgeon, open heart surgery pioneer, Bronze Star World War II. Emily Kimbrough, writer, Our Young Hearts Were Young and Gay. Philip Kaufman, film director, the right stuff, and the producer. Edward Keenholz. Oh, here's one of these uh, guys that he was asking who was an inspiration to me. Keenholz, man. Keenholz. I first saw his stuff at um, one of the Washington uh, museums. I can't remember the name of it, but it was basically this uh, facade of apartments, like three different apartments. And you could kind of look into each one that were cracked open, and it looked like a, a scene out of the 60s. It had all these different... Um, uh, just all the stuff you'd find in an apartment that was kind of cluttered, like uh, soup cans and just, but everything was from that day and time. And I think one of the uh, apartments was, they kind of closed it because I actually saw what the original, um, uh, what do you call the whole thing? Well, let's just call it a sculpture, I guess. It's, you know, it's not really a sculpture, it's something different. But uh, you look in the door, and it had a it had a mannequin that was uh, that was masturbating to some pornography. That particular door was rather closed. You had to kind of try and peek past the crack. And I reckon they didn't want that open for the kids that might walk by, huh? Because Keenholz, he was a little bit of a provocateur. Huh? Look up some of his stuff. Spelled uh, K I E N H O L Z. Diana Doors, British film actress, sex symbol, Jenny Lee, stripper, film, TV actress. I know a stripper. Neil, Ronnie Berg, phenomena. That's what he likes to say. Phenomena. Uh, Marshal Ando Juno. Uh, he was a French army commander, if you couldn't tell from the way I tried to pronounce his name. Doug Flutie, football quarterback, Heisman Trophy winner. Harry Tracy, murderer of sheriff. Killed four guards in escape. Shot partner. Killed himself to avoid capture. Oh, here's someone I'm gonna have to look up. Who else here? Ia, Ila Frank. Uh, Ilya Frank, Soviet psy physicist. <laughs> Wilhelm Labiel, a German realist, 19th century painter. And Richard Morton, Danish 20th century constructivist painter. Yeah. Now let's look at the numbers here. We rolled, uh, we rolled double twos, right? The day. Those born on the 23rd of the month are ruled by the number five. Two plus three equals five, right? And by the speedy planet Mercury. Since Mercury represents quickness of thought and change, October 23rd, people may find themselves likely to be both overreact mentally and to change their minds and physical surroundings with great regularity. The combination of Mercury and Venus and Pluto, rulers of Libra and Scorpio respectively, can add to the propensity of October 23rd people to land themselves in hot water in both love relationships and so so social situations. The number 23 is associated with happening. And 23rd people on this, they, this may stimulate their quest for unusual and thrilling experiences. Their health, they are, they must be aware of accidents of all kinds. In addition, their tempers may have to be controlled to avoid injury to themselves and others. Suppressing aggression is not the answer, but working on it. Perhaps through therapy, repressed emotions can also have a devastating somatic effect on their heart and internal abdominal organs. Cultivating peaceful pursuits in their lifestyle, i.e. gardening and growing their own food, even on an apartment balcony, learning and improving cooking skills and communicating with nature are highly beneficial to those born on this day. Vigorous daily exercise is also recommended as well as making music or dancing. Here's the advice for you October 23rders. Seek stability, peace, and harmony. That's good for anybody, I'd say. Don't overemphasize control. Things can sometimes be put right without your intervention. Wow, this is really good advice. Listen to your adversaries, even enemies on occasion, and learn from them. Walking away from, walk away from no-win situations. And here is your meditation. Some places have seasons, others only climate. So with people. Very nice, very nice. Yeah. So since I was muted from the number 22, uh, well, hey, we rolled 22 on uh, the 20, right before midnight. Yeah, how about that? It's a universal observation. We should probably roll these numbers for today, even though, like, I might have been off a little bit. Let's see if a five comes up, huh? Oh, no. 
The four to two. Oh. But close. Who's the same? Some people don't ascribe much meaning to this stuff. You know, it's all random, right? Who knows? I certainly don't. But I have seen some weird things in my time. Can't think of any at the moment, but whatever. Take my word for it. I remember that I seem to remember things weird happening. Just be on the lookout. Follow your path, your instincts, your intuition. Shall we get to it? Oh, yeah. I actually didn't read the Born on This Day, the health of the numbers, or the advice of the meditation. So, hey, why not? Let's kick it off. Carl's still awake, so why not? October 22nd, the day of allure. The related themes of temptation, attraction, magnetism, seduction run through almost every aspect of October 22nd people's lives. Though they are usually the ones doing the attracting, they can also be swept away by their desire for another. In either case, an unavoidable crisis often arises when an October 22nd person enters a romantic situation. This can be particularly difficult for a third person involved. And thus, October 22nd, people are capable of arousing tremendous resentment and jealousy. Just like I'm jealous that they're trying to take over my time here. Yeah. Emotionally powerful, their presence generally upsets the status quo. Those born on this day are usually very much in control of their emotions, and thus, if they choose to, able to manipulate the feelings of others with great aplomb and dexterity. To say that they are dangerous customers. That, that was the word, that was the term that I tried to remember. Dangerous customers. But I was muted, so you didn't hear that, right? In relationships would be an understatement. And some born on this day, an undercurrent of wildness may be concealed beneath an unassuming or cool exterior. But these submerged feelings are rarely revealed before anyone but close friends. October 22nd, people do not specialize in displays of emotion, but rather have the ability to evoke them in others. I lost it. I lost it. Their projective powers are great. It is even possible for them to just enter a room and change the energy of a gathering. Of course, those born on this day must be extremely guarded in exercising such powers. Not only for the sake of others, but also because this energy can backfire, ultimately damaging themselves. All right. Generally, the capacity of October 22nd people to hurt outweighs their vulnerability to be hurt. They have a way of protecting themselves, not always by aggressive or defensive behavior, but sometimes through actually being more considerate, decent, or caring than other persons. Thus, if the relationship were to end, not only would they be the ones sorely missed, but also the ones with a free conscience. Conscience. Ah. Yeah. Hey, good practice right there, I would say. Good practice out there. Let's get started. All right. Most October 22nd people have a decidedly rebellious streak in them, but once the rebellion has been fully expressed, usually in their younger years, they can later find themselves comfortably ensconced in a conservative social niche, particularly after their early 40s. Perhaps they will wonder how they got there. October 22nd people will meet their match in very balanced individuals who are able to deflect or ignore their seductive vibrations. Before such individuals, they will invariably bend the knee and perhaps submit emotionally. An important lesson for October 22 people is to learn. To learn is how to handle seductive power in themselves and others so that they may ultimately find happiness in a love that is open and unconditional. Yeah. Born on this day, Sarah Bernhardt, the divine Sarah, French stage actress, called greatest of her generation and a director. Franz Liszt, uh, Liszt, yeah. Hungarian composer, virtuoso pianist, dynamic superstar, retired to become most important teacher of piano. Timothy Leary, LSD experimenter, 60s guru. Bobby Seale, militant political activist, Black Panther co-founder with Huey Newton, prosecuted, convicted as Chicago 8 member, 
Robert Rauschenberg, he was a painter. Doris Lessing, writer of The Golden Notebook. Derek Jacoby, hmm, British stage TV film actor. Catherine Deneuve, no, I'm saying that wrong, but French film actress and model. Joan Fontaine, film actress. Brian Boitano, U.S. Olympic gold winning figure skating champion. Jeff Goldblum, he's a film actor. Mei Ling Fang, Chinese actor. George W. Beadle, U.S. Uh, Nobel Prize winning genetic biochemist. Now, he's the seem like the life of the party, so that would have been an interesting one. Dory Previn, actress, songwriter, wife to Andre Previn. Antoinette Fuccello, film actress, partner of Frankie Avalon. Lord Alfred Douglas, Oscar Wilde's lover, British royalty. Uh, Joaquim. Chisano, Mozambique president, Hollis Caswell, education professor, an advisor to the World Book Encyclopedia there, Constance Bennett, film actress, and William Hanley is a playwright. I don't even recognize a couple of them in there, but all right. Numbers and planets, nah. those born on the 22nd of this month are ruled by the number of four. Oh, so we had a four come up and a two. Hey, how about that? I assume it's wrong. I mean, I think we had a two and a four, didn't we? For a six? No, was, hey, god damn, that was right. That was right. Boom, I gotta change some numbers. How about that? That's, that's, there you go. I said I don't remember an instance where the universe was coming together. Right there, baby. Right there. All right. The added influence of Venus and Pluto, the rulers of Libra and Scorpio, respectively, underlines the seductive magnetic quality October 22nd people bring to relationships, particularly sexual ones. That's right. Number four typically represents rebellion, idiosyncratic beliefs, and a desire to change their rules. Particularly true for October 22 people, yeah. Since 22 is a double number, those born on 22nd of the month may be fascinated by twins. Oh, with twins, coincidences, symmetry, or reflections. 22nd card, I'm not going to read the tarot. Nah. Oh, well, you know what, I will, because it's the fool. It's the fool. Let's see what that's about. 22nd card of Major Arcana is the fool, who in several versions of the tarot is shown blithely stepping over the edge of a cliff. Some interpretations picture him as a foolish man who has given up his reason. Others, a highly sophisticated being, free of material considerations. Positive meanings include renouncing, renouncing uh, resistance and following instincts freely. Foolishness, impulsiveness, and annihilation are the negative aspects. The highly evolved fool has followed life's path, experiences its lessons, and becomes one with his or her own vision. Health. Those born on October 22 are generally concerned with their physical appearance, like my friend Ronnie Bird. <laughs> Therefore, they should take some care with their diet, both to avoid weight problems and to keep their skin looking healthy. They are also somewhat vulnerable where their internal abdominal organs, immune and circulatory systems are concerned. Infections should be treated promptly. Whereas the rest of us, I ain't give a shit, right? We'll be fine. Uh, let's see. Nonetheless, they should regularly test their strength and stretch their muscles in order to maintain athleticism. Generally attracted to good food and drink, October 22 people must be aware of eating in excess of animal fat and sugar and keep in mind the harmful effects of alcohol on the stomach, liver, and the kidneys. I don't know. This seems rather generic to me. Advice. Do not abuse your projective powers. Act with kindness and consideration. Show your real feelings. You don't have to always control the situation. Very good advice. The meditation. Are you ready? Are you ready? Magic and psychic manipulation are potentially dangerous practices and do not have much to do with true spirituality. <laughs> spirituality. I don't know about that one. Well, folks, that was it. I got them in. I might have to mute the other one or uh, do a highlight and remove it. I certainly need to put a warning out for uh, anyone who might come and watch this later. Because I screwed up. I'm an amateur over there.
Was I gonna do anything else? I don't recall. I don't recall that. Oh, bada bang bang bang. <laughs>